Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to animate like a, uh, a map trail. Um, I'm going to use it for a map trail, but you can pretty much use it to do something like this that you're seeing right now. It's pretty much showing like a little plant, um, a flower just growing from the roots or whatnot. It's pretty easy, um, but I'm going to use it to draw a map. So let's get into it. Um, so essentially, um, I'll just describe to you where the steps. It's pretty easy. First, I'm going to draw the actual object, and then <clears throat> I'm going to create alternate keyframes. And then with each keyframe, I'm going to pretty much erase the thing going backwards. And then when I play forward, it will recreate the thing. That may be a little confusing, but um, let's get to it. So let's use the um, hmm, use the pencil tool. Um, let's say we have something like so. All right, and at this point, let's make a little uh, little X. Actually, maybe I could use the uh, text tool. Just write an X. Gonna blow it up a little bit. All right, so X marks the spot. There you go. Gonna break that up. Okay. So essentially, this is the little map we got going on. Um, smooth it up a little uh, maybe not okay <clears throat> so the next thing we can do is actually make this dotted by going to dashed lines see it's pretty easy then from now it's just a matter of um, I'm gonna make keyframes say uh, every uh, every three frames all right, and of course you can determine how long it is depending on how long you want it to take. All right, so <clears throat> see all these keyframes are um, identical. See they're all identical. So essentially, at this point, at this frame, I want to be at X. I want to be at the um, the end of the trail. At this point, um, it's just beginning. So, for example, I could make the um, get the erase tool and or the lasso tool and just erase this whole thing, and that's essentially what you're doing. Um, for every couple frames, you're just revealing a little bit more of it, and you keep going. So I'm gonna for fast forward. So the basis is basically what you're doing. So it's gonna look like that. Actually, I'll do this one also, so you can see what's going on. See that? Pretty easy. So, and also to keep abreast with where you are, you can use this tool called Onion Skin, which pretty much allows you to to um, see what the past frames look like. See that? So at this point, I can see what the other frames look like. All right, so I can know where to start for the next one. And I'll just continue this until I'm at the last one and then um, speed this up. Now, I'm actually at the end. So now this is when I'm going to make it blink a couple times. So all I have to do is copy this keyframe, uh, make it blink a couple times. All right. So what I'll do is when it arrives at the, the point, so the X marks the spot, it vanishes. And then it reappears. And it vanishes, and it's going to reappear again. Right? So it vanishes, reappear, vanish, and then reappear. So let's see how that looks. Hmm. 
I guess I kind of missed one of them. So see, it's uh, uh huh. So we can remove that. Yeah, so it appears, reappears. Oh, of course, I started with this one. But let's just go over it really quick. First, you draw the map that you want. Okay, that's the trail. Actually, I'm going to make the um, the stage, change the color of the stage so it looks a little interesting, a little more interesting. Okay, cool. So um, you start with the diagram of the map. Then you create alternate keyframes um, every two or three frames. And then with each frame, you essentially you um, erase the rest of it and keep revealing a little bit more each frame and then when you play it it will actually give the appearance as if the entire thing is animated so I'm gonna remove this frame good so it starts blank and then actually I'll, I'll repeat the um, the blinking effect couple times all right so see how it looks and that's it so of course you can create another layer where you can add your little extra details and so on and stuff like that where you can you know put in little plants little trees and whatnot and then you can give it the effect like it's really a, uh, a map or you can actually just um, copy an image that you already have um, import it to the library and put it in another um, layer and put it in the background. All right, and you can use this for plants. You can use this for anything that you want to animate the growth. You know, animate a growing tree or a growing plant or a growing limb or any other object. It's pretty much the same principle you're using.